Hello. Right, right now I decided to do, um, actually I decided to have a cup of coffee and then I thought, hmm, I need something sweet. What have I got at home? And the answer was nothing. So <laughs> I decided, what can I make very quickly? And I just fancy brownies. Um, so I'm just doing a very, very quick brownie. I've got, uh, dark chocolate and butter melting in there and then I'm quickly gonna put that in my KitchenAid um, and put some flour, sugar, baking powder, whatever, an egg uh, to make it into a brownie, hopefully very very fast so I can have it with my coffee nice hot and gooey is what I'm aiming for. So I'm melting everything here and that's going well. I'm going to put one cup of brown sugar in there. Right, I've got the chocolate and butter melted. Look at that. Look at that chocolate goodness so that's melted and I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in to my mixer that smells divine all right that goes in I'm trying to get every little bit of chocolate and butter mix from this bowl. I would not want to waste this, especially when I know it's chocolate. So that goes in and that goes in. Oh. And then I'm adding, um, one cup of brown sugar into that mix. One teaspoon of vanilla. Where is my teaspoon? Sorry about the noise. One teaspoon of vanilla. I've got vanilla bean extract, the good stuff. Yes, that goes in. And then vanilla extract. And then I also put, I need to put three uh, eggs. I mean, I, it's, there's something about eggs in the cakes. If I get kind of like an eggy smell from a cake, that just puts me off. So I always put less egg than the uh, recipe requires. So it says three eggs in the recipe, but I think I'm going to go with two. Oh, or should I go? All right, let's see. So one. These are medium eggs, so... Uh, for once, I'm just going to do the actual recipe. So if it says free, is these eggs are not large eggs. I'm just going to put free. And let's hope it doesn't smell of eggs. I'm doing this recipe for the first time, by the way. As you probably guessed. I've got it online. Um picture looks so gooey and yummy I had to do this one I had to try it but yeah it's the first time so we're gonna see how it turns out so I put the free eggs doo -doo 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 -doo, doo -doo -doo, sugar vanilla eggs mixer would it help wouldn't it put in the mixer in actually onto the machine Right, so let's mix that a little bit. 
plugging the right bug also helps. Oh. Ah! That's not it, that's the kettle. Where are you? Oh, oh dear. Where is the cable? Just it's there. Oh my god. Right. Over and in. Right, let's go. Mix, 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 mix. So at the moment in there I've got the melted chocolate with butter. Um three eggs, one cup of uh, brown sugar and um, what else do I have? And one teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. They're mixing, and then I'm gonna add. Oh, I need the flour. Need the flour. So, they're mixing at sugar, egg, 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 egg. I added that, I added that, I added that. Um, and then once it's mixed, I'm going to add the cocoa powder, which actually can slowly go in, it's about that much. So the cocoa powder is in, uh, and then on top of that, half a cup of flour because this uh, brownie is very gooey so it doesn't need a lot of flour so it's half a cup why don't I just use the half cup measure instead of trying to fill half of the one cup measure I don't know why do I do these things right half a cup Let's be technical here. Let's face it, baking is very technical and very sciency, if that's the word. Oh my god, I made a mess! Right, so it's definitely half a cup, isn't it? Half a cup. Wow. Right, it says plain. I'm putting stuff raising in. Yeah, it is stuff raising, and that's what I have, and that's what I'm putting in. So. The flour goes in. No need for uh, baking powder or anything, apparently, which is good. Alright, so I think I've got everything. Do 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 Pinch of salt. Hopefully it's a good measurable pinch. I'm not sure. We're gonna see. Pinch of salt. And actually, I do like putting coffee in anything chocolatey. So this is not in the recipe, but I never stick to the recipe, definitely. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of coffee in there. With my tiny teeny spoon, I'm just gonna put a little bit of coffee. Won't be tasting the coffee in there, it's just enhancing the chocolate flavour. And I always do it, even though it's not in the recipe. It's just unfortunately, the flour always gets stuck, like the socks do in the washing machine onto the sides, and the uh, do everything not to mix in the actual mixture so i kind of snap the sides to get them into the middle but i think i might just quickly get it into the middle that way a bit all right ah, no 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 the wrong handle right so that's in, 
and this is it. This is our mixture done. Look at that. Look at that. Right. Let's put that under there. Look at that mixture. That's our brown mixture. So I'll show you how I get on. Thank you.